Yo, yo, what's going on, my good friends? Happy Monday. Happy brand new week. Happy new, new, new opportunities to chase dreams and smash Hulk smash goals, baby. This is From Grateful to Greatness. I am your host, Mario Kaleo. Every episode of From Grateful to Greatness starts off with me being grateful. So I'm grateful for my wife, my family, my friends, Everybody who follows me on social media, all of you beautiful people who take the time to watch these videos, and God and the universe for allowing your boy another day on this planet to talk to you. And we got something special to talk about today, my friends. We got to talk about energy versus desire. Um, so the reason this came up is because I hear this phrase quite a bit. Um, it's either on two, it's either two of them. It's either... I don't have enough energy or I don't have as much energy as you, okay? So we're going to talk about that very statement because I personally, I put that statement or those statements in the same league as I just don't have the motivation that you have. I hate that shit, okay? Like, let's just make that clear. I hate when anybody says I just don't have the thing that you have. It's like, look. You could say that if somebody was like a millionaire and you weren't. You're talking about material stuff. You could easily say, I just don't have those means to do what you're doing. But when we're talking about internal stuff, drive, desire, motivation, um, a reason to do what you're doing, you have all that. All that's in there. Now, if you're going to start using energy as a reason as to why you can't make stuff happen for your life... I'm here to tell you guys that I don't always have the energy to do the shit I do. Like, I I, I, w- I would venture to say it's a good 70-30. 70% of the time, I'm like, yeah, I feel real good and energetic. And then there's a 30% of the time where I have to force myself to do the stuff that I need to do. And then we're venturing into desire territory. See... I think the problem a lot of you face is that it's not a question of energy. It's not a question of motivation. It's not a question of not having enough reasons to do the things you need to do. It's a question of flat out, how bad do you fucking want to do what you're trying to do? That's really it. Like me, I want to work out. I want to get in better shape. I want to write. I want to help people. I want to work on stuff that I'm working on, dreams. I want to, you know, go to conventions. I want to make money, okay? And I I could have said I want to go to work, but I'd be lying. I don't want to go to work. I want to make money, though. So what are we talking about here? Do you think that I wake up every single day of the week with the exact same amount of energy? Hell no. I'd be lying to you if I said I did. And if anybody out there says they do, they're full of shit. No human being is a robot. Not that I know of yet. I don't think Skynet has taken over yet. But no human being is like some unstoppable machine that they never get tired or they never get sick or they never get hurt. That stuff's going to happen. But what happens is... You have to decide how bad you want this thing that you're talking about all the time. I don't know what it is for you, but I want the things that I'm doing fucking bad, man. Bad. I want to progress badly. I want to succeed badly. So my desire outweighs my energy. My desire will push me to do things when I, in every ounce of my being, don't want to do them. So why I decided to talk to you guys about this today is because, like I said, I can't stand it when I hear that because you, you may not, you're not always going to have the energy to do things. So if you base all of your dreams and goals on when you feel like doing shit, when you have a hundred percent energy, when you're a hundred percent healthy, when you feel fucking a hundred percent fantastic and mentally stable and everything's good, dude, you'll never achieve shit. That's just flat out. You just never will. You might, but it might take you 30 fucking years. I mean, if you're cool with that, fine. If you want to hit your dream when you're 65 years old, hey, by all means, go after it, man. Do it your way. But personally, I'd like to see these things happen when I'm a little bit younger, just so maybe I could enjoy it a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to talk about this today because I feel like so many of you guys out there base what you do every day on how good you feel. 
You know, and if these dreams really matter to you, these goals of yours, if they really matter to you, you will find the energy to do it. You know what I'm saying? You will find the energy to do it. If you got to find it in coffee or whatever the fuck, I don't know. But you're like wise, the wise we always talk about, your reasons. Those things are supposed to push you when you can't find energy. But you still need to know, do you really have the desire? Do you really want to do this thing that you're talking about? Is it just some shit to say? Just so you could say it? Oh, hey, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Or do you really want to do it? This is what I'm always talking about when I say don't bullshit yourself. Be honest about who you are. Do you really want to do this? Because I'll tell you what, I don't always want to do my schoolwork either, but I do it. I could list a million things, but I think you guys get the point. Figure out if your desire is really there for what you're going after. And if it is, boom, that's all you need, guys. Share this message if it hit home. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. And as always, just remember, all you need is a start and some heart. Peace.